Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my noobs guide for Demon Souls. And today, it is time to actually do something that will be a little difficult, and that's going to be we're going to be finishing up World Five. So we're going to actually do World Five Two, then we're going to do World Five Three. Now, honestly, this can kind of suck, but the reward for this is going to be. That we're going to be able to actually get our powerful weapon that will make the rest of the game a complete cakewalk. So, let's go ahead and head over to the Swamp of Sorrows. And the big thing about this place is that there is a giant poison lake. Now, here's the deal. If you actually do go to World 3-2 and actually make it pure black... You can get a special ring that allows you to run at full speed and roll, that's the other big part, through all this stupid poison lake part. It makes this part really easy if you have the ring. But being that we want to go and get this weapon early, we're not going to be able to take advantage of that. But that is always an option. I mean, technically I could go to 3-1, do that area. It's really not that bad. And then I could actually go ahead and make the world 3-2 pre of black go get the ring come back here i don't know it's kind of complicated not really necessary but as you can already tell these enemies are stronger because this is the second part of this world so you have to keep that in mind now being that this is a giant poison lake we're going to be getting poisoned a lot so be ready for that now, the big thing about poison in this game that sucks, the actual damage that you take from it is not really that bad, to be quite frank. But the problem is when you're poisoned, really when you have any status on you, plague, poison, bleed, any of it, what's going to end up happening is you are going to actually not be able to heal fully using grass. You actually get like half the health that you normally would. So if you get into a situation where you absolutely have to heal, it sucks. It just does. That's the truth. Because you cannot heal like properly and it can get you killed real quick. So poison sucks. If there are any parts here where we will not be getting poison right away. Like right now there's no point ever to heal it. We're in this stupid poison lake. We're going to be sitting in here for quite a while now. No point to heal it. But if I was to go to the other side and then not go in the Poison Lake for a while, then I could actually go ahead and not care. Now, one deal here is I'm probably not going to do everything here because I'll probably come back. I will do everything, but I'm going to come back because... And I just realized I messed up. I am human. Remember... The rule is when you go back to the Nexus, you want to kill yourself, you want to spend your souls, and you want to put things away at Thomas that you don't need, things that you might have picked up from the last world. So real quick, I did level up, and I forgot to show that too, but it wasn't much, because honestly, like 5-1, man, that was crap, completely crap for XP. But I'll quickly show you what I did. I went ahead and got my faith up to 18. I got my dex up to 15. Remember, we need dex now up to 18. That's our goal. Okay, so I'm slowly dying here. So here is an option. You could go ahead and use one of these and then go ahead and heal. If you don't, you're going to be wasting some stuff. So I would say that's a very good idea. And what's also a good idea for this part is to take something like this off. And instead, let's go ahead and throw on the poison cure. So we need that. Now, I've been picking those up just from like doing 5-1 and now 5-2. So that's where I got all those. You should have the same if you've been picking up the items and following like the guide, for example. But let's run over here now. There's a lot of items out in this poison lake from like the left and the right. But to be honest with you, like I said, I could always come back and grab a lot of this stuff because maybe later when I have the ring, this will be a lot better. But also, I'll have my powerful weapon by then. I'm not going to have a problem here. To be quite frank, I would say I want to get done with this area as fast as possible. Like, I really do. I do not want to be here very long because the boss really isn't going to be hard. But getting to the boss is what's hard here. 
it really is i i really do not like this area i don't think anybody does i don't think anybody likes any of the poison areas in any of the souls games like they are pretty notorious for being just awful there is an important item over here though that i do want to grab we're going to be getting the broken sword now earlier i got lucky and actually got one to drop from like a hollow phantom or not phantom a hollow enemy zombie guy but you can get one out here if you didn't get one yet because we're gonna need that for this weapon we're gonna make all right so real quick i mean i don't need to heal the poison it would be kind of a waste okay hold up this enemy's coming over this is a red phantom enemy this shouldn't be too bad because we can block well we could block if they didn't two hand okay get behind very easy as you can tell just block and counter with the stability if you can and if not just get behind and stab so right now i mean this is pretty great because this lady is two-handing now that she's one-handing i should be well i don't think it matters i got her with another backstab but i should be able to actually like have her bounce off and then counter her all right so she's gonna drop some stuff let's pick it up give me all the goodies awesome now i'm gonna go this way to try to get these items but real quick let me heal the poison again and i'm only doing that just not to waste healing items okay if you want to waste some healing items you can that's one of the reasons or that is really the reason why i recommend stocking up on the half moon grass and the late moon grass when we did one two like farming that and trying to get like a whole bunch of the healing items is good because this is an area where healing items are going to come in clutch we're going to need them because we're going to be losing our health almost non-stop now there's going to be an enemy coming up over here and i really don't want to fight this enemy and i will come back and fight this enemy but i'm just going to say right now for certain like situations it's probably going to be best just to go ahead and run for it so basically it's one of it's going to be one of these big guys now if you remember they're they're not that bad if you in 5-1 it wasn't an issue but in this area what's going to happen is there's going to be two of them at a time on a couple different parts and actually there's one part where there might be like up to four of them we do not want to deal with that and these guys are going to be a lot stronger because this is 5-2. So instead, if you make a left right there on that island with that big enemy, that's how you know you're in the right spot. Basically, just come on over here and you should be good. Now, these stupid mosquito things, if you want to deal with them, go ahead and just bust this out and shoot spells at them. You really don't have to, like, deal with them, though, to be honest. Like, you could pretty much run past them and stuff. And... For all these enemies and by the way at this point we can heal the poison and we shouldn't actually be getting poisoned again for at least a little bit so let's keep going there's gonna be more mosquitoes so bust out my catalyst staff i'm using the wooden one now and i actually do recommend the wooden one over the silver one it does slightly more damage the silver one, the big thing about that is it gives you a little bit more MP, but if you put it away, you lose the MP, so it really doesn't benefit us at all. So let's go ahead and bounce off, power attack, okay, watch out, don't let them push you, pushing is bad, get your ass back in line, oh, god, oh, it hurts my feelings, oh god, oh god, okay, you know what, ah, I was gonna push you, bitch, well, whatever. Basically, I thought it'd be funny to push him right off the ledge. That would've been great, but whatever. All right, power attack. And look at that damage. I mean, oh, God, stupid wasp. I hate wasps. Bounce off, attack. So, coming up here, it's really not important. There are actually two items, though, up Ow. There are actually a couple items up here that you want to pretty much grab. Okay, you know what? I'm going to back up a little bit because I'm a little frightened. I don't want to get both these guys on me at once. Alright. Bounce off. Attack. Alright. Let's go again. Boom. Now, there's actually quite a lot of, like, kind of special things here. And remember, I, I know how some people are. They're going to, like, where is that guy coming from? Hello? It's these guys, I swear, they come out of walls and stuff. Like, something's up. Like, they are so sneaky. It's insane. 
But uh, I know some people might comment and say, Oh, wow, you missed the Moonlight Sword. And, oh, wow, you missed this. And, oh, wow, you missed... I'm not. I'm coming back. I'm just... I, I really... We are so weak right now. That's just the truth. Like, at this point of the game, especially for a new player, you're kind of meant to stick to, like, World 1 of every world and then maybe go to, like, World 2 and then eventually go to the World 3s as you progress and get stronger. But coming here, like, and, and also remember, the worlds are harder depending on, like, what order they come in. So World, like, 4, for example, is the hardest world, and that's really because of the enemies. And World 5 is, is up there. I, I, yeah, I would say this is the second hardest world. See, that's what happens when you're in the stupid poison. Oh my god, I can't get out. You have to, like, just find a ledge and, like, run towards it. Okay, um, I'm gonna heal the poison again. Because up here, we are going to run for it. Because this is the part that will absolutely get you killed. And remember, don't be human like me. This is so this is so risky. I'm not going to like go back to fix that now since I'm stupid. But just don't do it. Always kill yourself. Alright, pick that up. And yeah. I mean, technically, you know, to be honest with you, if you run... Why did I heal the poison? That was probably dumb. But I, I believe if you run over here, you can maybe get around them without them seeing you. And if you are if you want to be extra careful, go ahead and you can maybe throw on the thief's ring. And I think this should work good. I hope it did. I hear him walking. Please, dude. Please. Ah, no, it didn't work! Okay! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's a shame, but don't do what I did. Don't be human, because that's going to affect my world tendency now. It shouldn't really make a big difference, but it will affect it, and it's just a bummer. But whatever, we're going to go ahead and just keep going. Basically, this time, though, I am just going to make a run for it. Like, if you do die on a part like that... I would definitely recommend just trying to, like, make a run for it. So, like, an example is you can always block guys like that and then just run right past them. And coming up here, I'll show you this other deal. Now, there's those two enemies behind me there. They will chase the hell out of me. So, I'm a little worried about that, but, you know, whatever. Basically, I'm just gonna... You know what? I don't recommend running through the middle. There's all these, like, stupid, like... I, what, are you, what are these things? Like, poison jellyfish-looking motherfuckers? I don't know. But we're going to basically just avoid them and just kind of run over here. And we're going to do the same thing. Like, we're going to try to go around and then just run for it. Because the big guy pretty much will not, like, mess with us. Or at least he, he might chase us, but he's not going to catch us if we do that. Okay. But, yeah, those big guys are no joke. They have a lot more health than they did before. They, are, they will definitely take a lot more hits. And because there's two of them, you have to try to double dodge. And if you don't have the ring to actually roll properly through all this crap, what ends up happening a lot of times is that you'll panic roll into the poison. And if you do, then you'll try to roll again and you're, you're fat rolling. And you can't roll because you're in the poison. And then it just will get you killed every time. So that part, trying to fight those guys when you're this weak and you don't have any way to like adjust it because you don't have the ring so that you can be actually like really mobile it's it's tough like that part is definitely tough so like i said let's just skip it for now and we'll come back and kick its ass later that's always a good option so picked up that item you know that's the thing they give you so many of like the same item like it's kind of crazy um i'm actually kind of shocked that the thief's ring didn't work there I really thought it would have. I've done that before in the past, too, by the way. I have done that, where I've been able to sneak past those guys by sticking to the right there. And maybe the guy just seen me, like, before. I don't know exactly. But whatever. There's still no point to heal the poison. Unless, like, your health is low and you want to use a healing item and not kind of waste it. Then go ahead and do it. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to try to get back over here. And let's pop this. Okay. Look how crappy the healing is when you're poisoned. I hate it so much. All right, so let's try this now. We're going to go all the way over here. You know, taking off that ring, basically. Actually, never mind. It didn't matter. I was human. What am I talking about? I was going to say, 
It probably lowered my health and uh, made me get, like, killed faster. Yeah, well, I was human. No, it didn't. All right, so run on through. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, look. Oh, never mind, never mind. He, he kind of is on us. Let's kind of move up a little bit. Okay, he is on us. There's a lady merchant there, but okay, whatever, right? Like, who cares? So, ah, uh, this is always a bummer when you have to stop to do that. Let's pick that up. Now, you know, this part... If that big guy is still on us, we got to be very careful. So I'm just kind of blocking. We can try to grab a couple items. Yeah, he's on us. Stop! Stop! We really need to just run for it. We got to just run for it. Alrighty. Learn from my mistakes. Do not stop and try to grab items. That's just the truth. I'm so used to doing it for the guide, but it's stupid. It is dumb. I've done like this playthrough before. Okay, where I started a playthrough and I kind of did everything I'm doing now. I had this armor, I had this weapon, I came here very early, I got this blue blood sword, and then I wrecked the game. And I was like, okay, this is good. I think this is good, and I think that this is going to be great for, like, a noob's guide. But, you know, when I did it and I wasn't, like, doing the guide, I absolutely ran through this part. I did not try to fight these guys. I came back later and I collected what I wanted to collect. The only thing I might have grabbed was that broken sword, which is important. That's the one thing that might be important because you need that to make this weapon. But basically, we're going to run through. And especially if you die, like I have, run through. And that part coming up, it, it is it is bad. Honestly, it's very bad Like because there are going to be so many enemies. And they're very annoying. They come around corners. They do that push thing oh god it's terrible but if we run and we block that's the other important part if we block we should be able to get through there's one part if i remember right that's really bad though like with a ramp so the ramp is tricky but there is something you can probably do and i might have to do it so you know right here i didn't say it last time but just jump off because Going up top, the only reason to go up top is to grab those couple, like, kind of useless items. It's better to just run through the poison, honestly. If that guy is chasing you especially, run through. I hate those guys. I really do. Okay. My finger is starting to hurt from holding circle so much. But another thing we're going to do here, and regardless of what happens, you do want to try to heal the poison when we get to the other side after these two big guys. Because if you're trying to run through past all these enemies and your poison and your health is ticking down and then maybe they hit you a couple times, they will kill you. So let's heal the poison before we do that. So again, let's kind of run over here to where the big guys are. And now we will heal the poison and then heal ourselves. Okay, so heal ourselves. Um, and I'm going to have my full moon grass ready just in case I have to panic heal. Honestly, it's probably all right to kind of run towards them because as long as you keep moving like this if you're running They're gonna miss they're never gonna hit you and at this point. We're gonna haul ass Okay, so block and run if there's an enemy in front of you and you feel like the enemy's gonna try to hit you Let him attack and block him. Okay, like here's an example You can cut there like right there. There's no way I was not gonna get hit right here same thing No way, but I can block it. No problem. So I just have to like be prepared for that this is the part. You need to make a right there, by the way. This is the part that sucks. So, it's this ramp. If those guys get on that ramp, they can block you. So, try to haul ass up the ramp. Same with this ramp a little bit. But, honestly, the problem was the two guys. But, once you're up that ramp, we're going to go this way. This is where the shortcut is. And the shortcut is going to potentially be awesome. Because this boss is pretty easy, in my opinion. Oh, God. Don't worry about those enemies. We'll just keep going. The boss is easy, but you never know. Like, sometimes bosses are just not easy for people, you know? Maybe maybe you have a lot of trouble, and you die, like, five, six times on this boss. You might, you know. This, again, this is a boss that's kind of, like... You really shouldn't be fighting this boss right this moment. Like, you're kind of early on. Hug the wall to the left there. There's a lizard over here, too, so be prepared for that if you want to try to get it. But you could just say, F it. Because I'm, again, just kind of running through. I'm not trying to murder these enemies. Okay, uh, yeah, those enemies are going to be all over me in a second. So, oh, God, there's the stupid push. Okay. Ah! Stupid lizard, die! Ah! There we go, got one. I better not die. I better 
Oh, just look. I hate the push. Okay, I would. My recommendation would be don't get the lizard because that was risky. And if anything, this is priority number one. Kick that down. Get that down. That's the shortcut. That's important. Now we can head towards the boss. And then later, like I said, we'll come back. We'll get all this stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. Most of it is not very important for what we're doing, but, you know, whatever. All right. I don't, eh, I'll kill him probably, so. All right, bounce off. Come on. One more hit. There you go. All right. And, yeah. Now, just real quick about this boss. One of the things about this boss is that, basically, he's going to do, like, a... He's going to affect you with, like, a swarm of, like, locusts or something like that. It's bugs. Like, a swarm of bugs, basically. Oh, my God. Get out of my way. There we go. And the deal about the bugs is that they're going to slowly drain your health. Now, what you can do is you can actually go towards, like, these torches, and they will remove the bugs. Oh, my God. I didn't even see you. Okay. Come on. Swing away. There you go. Die. Die. And, of course, I'm poisoned again. Okay. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and heal it up. Yeah, but this locust swarm thing sucks. But this is the reason to try to have as many healing items as possible. Because you can totally heal through most of this stuff. Now, to get to the boss, we're on the top part of this area. We just need to head over it this way. I know this area can be a little confusing. But I would say if you want to learn how to run through to get to the end... Watch that segment when I ran through there in this like little I don't even know what to call this like a little village for these people Watch it because that's important to know the direction you need to be going because otherwise you're probably gonna get lost All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot Basically block and then we're, we will run directly towards him now. He's gonna shoot at us That's like the locust swarm you see like the fire in the background and there's like multiple ones That's what I'm talking about when it comes to getting the bugs off of you All right, so Pretty simple like you can easily block. Okay, like just kind of circle them He's one of these big fat dumb bosses where as long as you circle especially if you're blocking you shouldn't have too many problems. He has an explosion. When you see him shake like that, roll away. Okay. And now we can run in. And just stay on his butt. Okay. He smacked me there. And I will back up. And when you back up far from him, he is going to. There's the stupid bugs. He's going to shoot at you potentially. So be prepared for that. And one of the things about him is he loves doing multiple, multiple hits. That's why it's important to get behind him and try to stay behind him. There's the bugs on me. The bugs, I do believe, they do act kind of like poison. So, I think they make it so you have reduced healing. Oh, God. Back it up. Now, if you want to, you can light yourself on fire. You have to run into it like that, you see? Like, you have to take a little bit of damage, and it didn't, it didn't matter because I immediately got more locusts on me. But that's how you can get rid of them. Is you have to take little damage, but it burns them off of you. So, but you know, if you go running far away to hit to hit it, what's going to happen there is he's going to shoot at you, and that's going to be annoying. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Fool! If you need it, use the fool. Absolutely use the fool. Moon grass. Get behind him again. Watch out for his stupid swings. And I'm going to heal with one of these. Yum, yum. Okay. And yeah, you see, you can block them. Like, a lot of those attacks can be blocked. No problem. And as long as you circle, you know, like, you should be good for the most part. And only counterattack when he's kind of done. Ow! Thought I could roll through. Back it up. He'll probably shoot again. And there he goes. Alright, counter attack, explode it, no stamina, ah! alright, we're good, the running attacks are always so strong, so if you ever get an opportunity to do a running attack, do it, there we go, big old power attack, let's two hand, okay, I don't know why I'm one handing now, <laughs> that was an accident, but it is GG, there you go, like I said, it's an easy boss, you know, just remember, you can always run in there, easy boss but that's you know sometimes it's not 
that easy for some people. You know, it might take you a couple of attempts to get used to, like, circling around them and stuff. Now, I, yeah, I'm going to go to the Nexus. I was going to say maybe I won't, but I'm going to go to the Nexus, spend some of these souls, and kill myself. Now, the upcoming part is going to be our very first, like, arch boss, arch stone boss. So that means, like, um, it's the final boss of this area. Now, this boss is very weird. Now, here's the deal. Every boss in this game, they all have a gimmick. Like, that guy's got the gimmick of the locust swarms. You can burn them off. They all have a gimmick for the most part. And this, in, this boss's gimmick is that the boss itself is, like, extremely weak and does nothing. And then there's this knight guy who he is kind of the boss, basically. But he acts kind of like a normal, like, NPC when you fight them. And... There are different ways of doing this. Like, you can, like, do this with a bow. If you have really powerful magic, you can do it with magic. Uh, I would say if you're melee like we are right now, your best bet is to just fight the knight. Now, the problem with the knight, though, there is an issue. And that is the knight can... He can be pretty tough, okay? He can be pretty annoying. Now, if you block him... You can, like, block his one-handed attacks, and we can do our counter stability damage. That's one thing. If you can parry him, though, you will do a ton of damage to him, and it's really, really great. So let me quickly level up. Get that up to 18. We're good there. And now I'll throw some points into luck. Why not? But we still need endurance. We still need vitality. That's all important. All right. Let's go back now. But... Oh, I didn't kill myself. Ah, oh, I'm so bad about that. Okay, I, I have to. Because I'm trying to show, like, the pure white, pure black, like, world tendency stuff. So I gotta go and, like, die. This is the way it is. I, I don't want to risk it. I do feel like this guy can kill me. Or even... It's possible if you have, like, low vitality like this, he, he could literally one-shot you. But the thing about the knight as well, which is annoying is that he can heal himself you have to be ready for him to try to heal himself because if he does you will absolutely want to try to get behind him and do a backstab it's a free backstab if you can catch him now as you go to kill yourself honestly if you can try to line it up see if you can actually land on this thing okay i think you gotta land a little bit further back or something but uh yeah hmm. okay well, let me go grab my stuff real quick, and then we'll go back. Like I said, like, strategy-wise, two strategies, really. First of all, let me double-check. I would definitely say grab the buckler, okay? That's the starting shield of this class, so you will have it and grab it. Now, one thing about that shield is that it actually has a easier time doing parries than, like, other shields. So keep that in mind. But we can give it a shot where we will block and then do the counter damage. We will try that. But like I said, this is a boss where you might want to try to learn the parry because if you can do that, it should be very easy. And if you can't do the parry, it definitely will take a lot longer. Actually, nah, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, like, I think you can poison him. But to actually do the poison on him, we would actually have to go and rescue, like, we could do it, though. We would have to go and rescue, like, the sorcerer who will allow us to use our boss souls. But I'm pretty sure, like, what we just got there was we got, like, poison cloud. So we can use that to poison an enemy. And then it would take forever. It really would. It would probably be, like, at least 10 minutes or something like that of waiting for him to die and using, like, a poison cheese. So if all else fails, that's always an option. And the thing is, is that... World 3-1 is where you have to go, and at some point in this guide, I will do it. So if you haven't played yet, you can maybe go to World 3-1 if you really feel like you have to do, if you have to poison them, because it's going to be tough. Okay, so right away, and by the way, there is a lizard to the right. I wouldn't worry about that kind of stuff, though, because the upgrade materials is stuff that we're not going to get but if you want to come and farm the lizard you can and also there's a bunch of stuff in that poison lake down there uh-uh no 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 there's nothing in there good enough to go in there like that is death that is totally death do not go in there like the tree up there you can maybe go get that stuff because you can just drop down onto it and then just get out like use like 
the Archstone Shard to teleport out of here. Because it's that bad. Alright, so here's the guy. He's going to just stand here and block. If you push him too far back, he's going to run, like, down. We really don't want him to run down. We just don't. Okay. Ow. Ow, he hurts. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. See how this works with the whole blocking. If it even works at all. Like, kind of. Like, he, he's trying to attack, basically. And our stamina is just not that good. But let's see. Boom. Oh, my God. Look how much he pushes me back. But, doing the parry on him is not that bad. Okay? You do have to learn the timing. But, either one of the attacks can be parried. And, either one is actually not too difficult. Just wait till, like, right before the end and do it. And, I would recommend try not to push him too far back if you are successful with these parries. So, I see the problem is he never moves. Like, he just doesn't. Okay, wait till the, like, last second, and then hit L2 to do the parry. Whatever you do, do not run behind him. If you do, he will start running down. So, oh, my God, that was scary. Don't know why I did so little damage there, but whatever. Okay. Just keep doing this. Keep doing it. If he two hands, oh, ow. If he two hands, and he's going to run for it. Crap. But if he two hands, do not try to parry the two-handed. Don't do it. Okay, it's just annoying. Now that area down there is terrible. Watch his hand, by the way. He's got the hammer out. Let him have the hammer out. If he pulls out his talisman, be prepared for one or two things. Okay, either one, he's gonna try to heal himself, and you need to quickly run and get behind him and try to backstab him. Or two, what he might do is use this spell called Wrath of the Gods, and that spell is like incredible, and it's going to one-shot you if it hits you. So. Just watch out for that. Ow. That is risky. Now he's two-handing. So let him, like, just swing a little bit and let him, like, stop two-handing. He will stop. Okay. Okay, that's Wrath of the Gods. That's what it looks like back all the way up, if you see that. Okay, again, he's doing it back all the way up. Huge radius on that. And now he's going to run up and try to punch me. Are you serious? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Ah, uh, see, I'm choking. I'm choking. This is what will happen, potentially, is that you're you're doing good with the parries, and all of a sudden you're doing really bad. Just wait till the last second. Yep. This always happens. But this is why you want to have a lot of healing items, okay? This is why you need them. There we go. Now, you might be tempted to try to swing at him. If anything, try to hit him once or twice. Do not, like, go crazy. He might punish you for that okay when he's two-handing though one thing you can do is you can kind of run in and oh, oh oh that's the healing that's the healing that's exactly what it looks like immediately run behind him and murder him punish him for that because if you don't <laughs> you got to start over basically pick up all his stuff and now all we have to do is go and talk to this lady that's it she's gonna kill herself it's pretty messed up and sad, to be honest with you. This whole, like, boss battle is tragic. But, you know, she needs to hurry up and die because as we're standing in here, look at look at this. Look how, much, look how fast we're dying. It's insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. But get out of here as soon as you can. Hit this thing. Go to the Nexus. Boom. We are good. But what we were trying to get there was that pure blood demon soul because that is the soul we need to transform the broken sword into the blue blood sword which is an incredible and overpowered weapon now i definitely will go back to 5-2 and i'll clear it out and i'll do like the white world tendency event i'll do the black world tendency event and i'll collect all the items that will happen in the future but in the next episode i'm gonna go and do world 2-2 because we need that as well to be able to make this sword so that's kind of what we're going for here. We're just trying to get the build set up. We're trying to get the weapon. And then eventually there's some spells that will go with it. But it is a really awesome, fun, OP build that you can do. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, though. I really do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace So.